8. The Sea Hunter The Sea Hunter is the world's largest autonomous ship designed to track silent diesel electric submarines for months with little to no human assistance. It's the future of underwater warfare. It was launched in 2016 as part of the DARPA Anti Submarine Warfare Continuous Trail Unmanned Vessel, ACTUV. Not only can it hunt down enemy subs, it also uses its stealth capabilities to spy on them as well. The 132 foot, 40 meter long, and 140 ton, 140,000 kilo ship can reach speeds of 27 knots powered by its two diesel engines. The area where a normal ship would have the control station known as the pilot house has been removed. The single hull vessel has two outrigger floats added for more stability out in the ocean, lasting for up to 90 days or 10,000 miles 16, kilometers, and can operate in all weather or traffic circumstances, both during the day and at night. According to a report by Popular Mechanics, the Pentagon started work on the ACTUV in 2012. As as part of its drive to increase unmanned systems in not just the sea, but on land and in the air as well. In 2020, it was reported that China was working to build clones of the Sea Hunter. Fred Kennedy with the Defense Advanced Research Project Agency said in a release statement, This is the vision for undersea warfare in the 21st century. A vast network of unmanned vehicles, smart weapons, sonars, and software all working together to make the US the Navy's traditional fleet of submarines and ships more powerful than ever. 7. Tomahawk Land Attack Missile the Tomahawk Land Attack Missile TLAM, is a subsonic cruise missile that's all-weather, long-range, and used for deep land attack warfare. It's launched from both US Navy and UK Royal Navy submarines, as well as US Navy surface ships. It is a Tomahawk Block 4 version that was first introduced to the fleet in 2004, with missiles that can even be reprogrammed in flight to hit different targets using a two-way satellite. The Block 4 missile may fly over a target area to respond to incoming targets, or offer combat damage information to warfighting commanders through its onboard camera. Raytheon delivered the Navy its first Block V Tomahawk missile in March 2021, clearing the path for the fleet to have an enhanced warfighting capability. They're designed to fly at very high subsonic speeds of 550 miles per hour, 885 kilometers per hour, as well as at very low altitudes, with a maximum range of 500 to 1,350 nautical miles, 926 to 2,500 kilometers. Its first operation was in 1991 during Operation Desert Storm, and it performed flawlessly. The United States and the United Kingdom signed a foreign military sales agreement in 1995 for the purchase of 65 Tomahawk missiles. The United Kingdom received approval in 2003 to purchase 65 Block 4 torpedo tube launched Tomahawks and began receiving Block 4 missile deployments in January 2008, and its in-service date was officially announced in March 2008. Six. U.S. Navy Mines A sea mine, also known as a naval mine, is a self-contained explosive device that's put in water to damage surface ships or submarines. Mines offer low-cost battle space shaping and force protection. Mines can also be used to prevent an opponent from entering specified locations or to channel the opponent into key locations. Since the Revolutionary War, the U.S. Navy has utilized sea mines extensively throughout the Civil War and both World Wars. The U.S. used mines most effectively against the Japanese Empire during World War II. Over 12,000 were planted by U.S. planes in Japanese shipping channels and harbor approaches, destroying 650 Japanese ships and completely halting all of their maritime trade. Ocean mines followed the development of gunpowder by a few hundred years, perhaps theorized by the Chinese in the 14th century. It was described as a devilish device and that only unchivalrous nations used them. The USS Cairo was a river gunboat and was the first to be sunk by a Confederate mine in 1862. They were all also heavily used in the Russo-Japanese War, with both countries using them to sink the other ships. Between World War I and World War II, the explosive devices became tougher and stronger. Today, over 5,000 naval mines from the two world wars have been found at the bottom of the Adriatic Sea, as well as the North Atlantic, the Baltic Sea, and Tallinn Bay in Estonia. Mines are also responsible for the popular motto used by the US Navy, Damn the Torpedoes, Full Speed Ahead, which originated when a Union year referred to one of their ships heading straight into a minefield in Mobile Bay. They are very much used today due to being low in cost and extremely effective. 5. The Sea Wolf 
The Seawolf class and its boats are the most advanced hunter-killer submarines in the world, but they're also the most expensive. These submarines were designed to regain the technological advantage that the US held over the Soviets from 1945 until the mid-1980s, when espionage and the unethical business practices of some US allies undermined it significantly. Originally, 12 boats of this type were intended. However, these modern submarines were too expensive for the US to develop and maintain on its post-Cold War budget. Only three sea Wolf class submarines were completed before manufacturing was halted, and all of these vessels are currently in use. The US Navy shifted to a far less expensive design for Virginia class attack submarines. The Sea Wolf class submarines are possibly the quietest submarines ever built. Even at high speeds, it is remarkably silent. Most submarines must maintain speeds as low as 5 knots to prevent detection by passive sonar arrays, but the Sea Wolf class is said to be able to cruise at 20 knots and still be hard to spot. They can operate at deeper depths than current. US subs and can also operate beneath the polar ice cap. They're also a lot faster and can carry more weapons and torpedo tubes. Mark 48 torpedoes and sub harpoon anti ship missiles are fired from these tubes. Torpedo tubes are often used to fire 1,700 km, 1,056 mile range Tomahawk ground assault cruise missiles. It is possible to carry 50 torpedoes, sub harpoons, and tomahawks. Hey, real quick, if you're new to the channel, welcome. Be sure to like this video and subscribe subscribe if you haven't already. 4. Virginia Class Attack Submarine the newest undersea warfare platform in stealth, intelligence, and weapons gathering technology is the Virginia Class Attack Submarine. These attack submarines conduct intelligence, surveillance, and reconnaissance ISR missions, as well as assist in battle group operations and mine warfare. They're also intended to hunt down and destroy enemy submarines and surface ships, as well as project power on shore with Tomahawk cruise missiles and special operation forces. The Virginia Class was meant to replace the very expensive of Seawolf, as it cost a whopping $3 billion to produce. A total of three Seawolves went into production during the Cold War, with the last in 1995. The Virginia class was put into production immediately after it was determined that it was smaller in size and much more cost effective. Deemed mighty and reliable, the Virginia class's hull is 377 feet, 115 meters long, with a beam that's 34 feet, 10 meters. It is built with one nuclear reactor and one shaft, and can go up to 28 miles per hour, 45 kilometers per hour, and has an operating depth of 820 feet, 250 meters. This underwater weapon has 12 vertical missile tubes as well as four 533 millimeter torpedo tubes. In a single firing, the launching system can launch 16 Tomahawk submarine launch cruise missiles, SLCM. The 21-inch torpedo tubes can launch up to 26 Mark 48 ADCAP Mod 6 heavyweight torpedoes and sub-harpoon anti-ship missiles. Mark 60 Captamines are also available. For specific operations, an inbuilt lockout lock-in chamber is built within the hull. The chamber can house a mini-submarine, such as Northrop Grumman's Oceanic and Naval Systems Advanced Seal Delivery System ASDS, which can transport special warfare troops such as Navy SEAL teams or Marine Surveillance Units for counter terrorism or localized conflict operations. Furthermore, by using modular construction, open architecture, and commercial off-the-shelf components extensively, the Virginia class is expected to stay cutting edge for the duration of its operating life through the quick introduction of new systems and payloads. 3. Oscar II class submarines the Oscar-class submarines are a series of nuclear-powered cruise missile subs constructed as part of Project 949, which began in the 1970s, until 2007 when the US Navy updated three of its Ohio-class ballistic missile submarines. They were the world's biggest operating cruise missile subs. The Soviet Typhoon-class and Russian Borat-class submarines are the only two major classes of submarines that exist. The Oscar-class submarines were built to target NATO naval forces, even as the Soviet Union faced rising financial difficulties and probable collapse, the Oscar-class vessels remained a priority, operating in both the Northern and Pacific fleets while earlier submarines were retired. The Project 949A Modernization Initiative began in 2011, with plans to modernize at least three Oscar-class boats. The trio of submarines would receive repairs and maintenance to improve their quality of life by at least 20 years for roughly $182 million per year. The Russian Navy plans to replace old warheads with new and improved weaponry, in addition to updating their technology. 
The Cut submarine is the first to go through the upgrading process. The 30-plus-year-old warship, which was commissioned in 1988, will be outfitted with the most advanced missile, torpedo, and communication systems, including a complicated new system that would allow it to deploy hypersonic missiles. If all goes as planned, the Irkutsk will return to naval service sometime this year. The project looks to be doing well and has been expanded to accommodate up to seven submarines. 2. Railgun Proposals for electromagnetic railguns have long been regarded as the holy grail of naval weaponry, promising hypersonic launch velocity without the use of conventional propellants. Instead of propellants, the output of the ship's power plant may be diverted into a massive capacitive device, which stores vast amounts of energy and releases it in brief bursts when the gun fires. A cluster of compensated pulse alternators capable of providing a high energy burst may also be employed. The latter design looks to offer the advantages of smaller footprints, natural gentle deterioration in the event that one or more alternators fail, and reduced total system weight. A railgun works by utilizing the Lorentz force exerted on a moving armature. The cannon is made up of two parallel rails that are electrically coupled by an armature that houses the bullet. Current is delivered from the power source down one rail, across the armature, and back down the other rail to the power source. This current flow generates a magnetic field surrounding the armature, causing it to glide down the rails. Railguns can achieve significant accelerations and consequently high muzzle velocities with big currents, without the dangers of chemical explosive charges employed in traditional guns. Because there are no magazines, only shell compartments, and the shells themselves may not carry a burster, the ship is less vulnerable to harm. The resultant hypersonic speeds provide the projectiles with high kinetic energy, a long range, and short flight durations. After investing almost half a billion dollars over 15 years, the US Navy is suspending research and development on the much-touted electromagnetic railgun. The decision was made due to economic restrictions, battle system integration issues, and the development of other weapons technologies, according to the Army. 1. Mark 48 Torpedo the Mark 48 heavyweight torpedo is utilized as an anti-submarine warfare and anti-surface warfare weapon by all submarine classes. It's an extremely powerful weapon that may be deployed against surface ships or submarines. It has been tested under the Arctic ice pack as well as other extreme conditions. The engine runs on liquid monopropellant fuel, and the torpedo has a standard high-explosive warhead. The Mark 48 features an advanced navigation system that allows for a range of assault choices. A tiny cable spins out when the torpedo exits the submarine's launch tube, electrically connecting the submarine and torpedo. The Mark 48 torpedo is a heavyweight acoustic homing torpedo with advanced sonar, all digital guidance and control systems, and improved propulsion. Its digital guiding technology enables frequent modifications to handle future attacks via software changes. The Mark 48 has been in service with the US Navy since 1972. Mark 48 ADCAP advanced capability became operational in 1988 and full manufacturing began in 1989. On July 23, 1988, the USS Norfolk SSN-714 launched the first ADCAP torpedo, destroying the Forrest Sherman class destroyer Jonas Ingram DD-938. Thanks for watching. Which one of these deadly weapons do you fear the most? Let us know in the comments below and don't forget to subscribe. See you next time. Bye.